everyone, James Manson here bringing you yet another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna test out the James Charles makeup palette with Morphe. Ooh, check it out. This humongous thing is the palette. Holy crap. This thing's like the size of a keyboard or a MacBook. Look at that. And you get all them colors. Wow. Yeah, and if you just put the little slip that it gives you over it, it'll give you the names of all the shades. See, just like that. Now you can read it. Reading is fun. Now some of them are eyeshadows, some are pressed pigments. It says in the back of the box which ones are which, so if you know how to read, it's good for you. Let's set that down and let's get started. I want to do something really ravishing, really red, really sister sensational, something really sister s something. All right, let's start out with the skeleton of my eye just so I know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use my usual brush that I do for that. This is like something like that. All right, we're going to start with the skeleton of my eyelid, so I'm going to use Code James, which is this one right here. Now, I'm so excited to be coming back to you guys with another beauty video because I recently just got done with my boyfriend's birthday weekend. We did a whole wrestling weekend and I was trying to stay clear on YouTube and not put as much up because I wanted to make it more about him. And I still kind of managed to sneak in work while I was doing it. So if you noticed a lot more wrestling videos than usual, that's why. But don't worry, for those of you that are here for my beauty videos, I haven't forgotten about you. I have lots more in store. Just, you know, if you like my channel, you like me, you know that it's not really limited to just one thing. I talk about whatever I like and just create our little boomerang on our eye. These are actually going on a lot smoother than I expected. With Morphe, it's like the price point is usually fairly low. So like you never really know what to expect with that. But so far, so good. I actually really like how this is going on to my eye. I'm not having to fight it at all, which is really, really good for me. Especially for drag, I usually just want to throw it on and keep moving. So, you know, so far, so good. I am sister satisfied so far. I should go like a sister counter right into this video, see how many I get to. All right, okay, that's enough of that. Let's deepen this up. All right, for my other transition, I'm gonna go in with a couple other shades. I'm gonna start again with 10% off and then go with no beans after that to deepen it up further, creating like a contour in my eye. So yeah, 10% off. That's our next one. This cheat sheet is so handy for me right now because I can never remember the names. I'm just like, you know, use like the brown color. Let's see how that works. And sometimes the palettes be having like nine or 10 of the same shade that look just alike. I'm like, um, use, use the one, you know? It'd be fine. We're just gonna deepen that lid up, creating a silhouette. This is going around the top, just use, flip that brush around, use the other one. And I'm going to go in with no beans on the other side of that brush. This is sister blending right now. I'm sister contouring. I hope I'm doing that right. Is that how you do it? Or does it have to be like an S? I don't know the rules on how the sister works. All right, I'm going to use the shade Spooky and add some more dark here to finish off my contouring on my eyelid. And for a black, this one's actually packing on pretty well. Normally the blacks are usually super freaking patchy, but this one's actually pretty good. I ain't mad at it. All right, now that's intensified, I'm gonna go in with my cream and cut the crease. Use a little bit of that spooky that's left on the brush to clean that up. You know, spooked like Shawn Mendes got when James Charles just flirting with him on Instagram Live. Which I'm guilty of doing my damn self. I do it all the time. All right, we're going to set this now with flashback. I'm sister setting my cream right now. Okay, now that we are sister set, let's put some red and color into this thing now. All right, I'm going to go with the pigments, but before I do, I'm actually going to put some powder on my cheeks to catch any fallout. So going with my Derma Blend and no shade to the palette, but like anytime you're using pigments, you just want to protect yourself. If it's high pigment, that means there's gonna be some fallout, girl, so just prepare yourself. And you know, it works to your benefit too, because when you sweep it away, you look all bright and refreshed. Okay, I'm gonna go in first with Rusted, this guy y'all. Okay, I need a moment. This is actually really, really pigmented. Okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna go over that now with your kidding, the red, because I actually really, really wanna try out the red. Holy shit, that's pounds. That is pigmented as hell. Okay, with that red, I will say I am sister shook. Okay, yeah, that is really pigmented. 
Now, I'm gonna be the first to admit I'm not really the most educated when it comes to, like what's the difference between like an eyeshadow and a pigment, but if you wanna explain that to me in the comment section below, please let me know because I was only at Sephora for a few months before I got in Drag Race, so I'm not the most educatable when it comes to that. All right, and in the middle of my crease, I'm gonna use this orange 518. Yes. Got my eyelid looking like the underbelly of Iago from Aladdin. Yes. No fallout. Yes. Okay. Let's start doing some eyeliner. Oh, wait, no. Scratch that. Let's blend. All right. Clean brush. Okay. Let's do some eyeliner. All right. And I'm back. I filled in my eyeliner. I also put some milk underneath. You guys see me do that a million times. You're not missing out on anything. I promise you. All right. I'm going underneath with some more pigment to really bring my eyes out even more. So let's see how it works. Now looking at this, I think I'm gonna use the orange color on my under eye. So what I'm gonna do, just to be cautious, I didn't have any fallout the last time, but you know what, better safe than sorry. All right, me and my boyfriend are reading up on like pressed pigments to see like what the difference is, the eyeshadows and stuff in between takes, and like we really haven't figured anything out yet. So if you do know, let me know. I mean, so far it's working for me with the usual techniques I do. So I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm more skilled than I thought. Watch, I'll say that and like poke myself in the eye. Yeah, so far so good. I have to say, like I'm really impressed with it. Some of the colors you have to press in a little bit more, but like you still get a good intensity the first press you get. I know some people are real sticklers, like they want it to go on immediately, but it's like, it's eyeshadow. Like it's already bright, I just keep adding it because I'm a drag queen, I like excess. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go with eyeliner. I have a photo of Jack and Hill saying you're gonna do something different and you turn out with a thin new lip, copper eye lid. This is a pink lip, I'll have you know. <laughs> All right, let's go underneath the eye with some black just to smoke it out a bit more. Just so I don't have that harsh, you know, point there. Just gonna go with a little spooky. Let's try and smoke that out. Trying to soften the edges of that dark underneath. And also when I put my under eyelashes on, it's gonna be a little less severe. It'll help diffuse them. Cause that's always my big issue with under eyelashes is like, I feel like they look really stark and severe and like, whew, if you don't have any like shadow underneath. I'm going to use ring light in my inner corner. All right, I'm gonna use ring light on my brush and pack it into the inner corner. Now I'm gonna do it on camera without my setting spray. I usually use the setting spray to bring out more intensity and more shine, but I'll do it for this, like this on this eye, just so you see how it looks. Okay, girl, I need some setting spray. There we go. Much better. Are these the different techniques they're talking about? I'm skilled, y'all. There we go. Different technique right there. She is a beauty guru. You can't tell her nothing. Gonna fill in my black a little bit more. All right, I couldn't help but notice my eyebrows got a bit lost in this look, so I'm gonna make them pop a bit more. Taking some cream, I'm gonna highlight underneath my brows. All right, and to set that, I'm gonna use a little bit of the shimmer I used earlier. All right, I think I add some color to the ends of my brows just to bring them out more because that always happens to me whenever I put highlight under my brow. It always kind of washes out the brow I did. So now I'm just going to bring that, put that in there to sort of bring them back out. And also with this warm makeup, I want to warm the brows up a bit more. And this color is No Beans, one of the colors I use on my eyelid. All right, just sweep away the excess powder on your cheeks. I didn't really need it, but you know what? It just made my face glow a whole lot more. <gasps> glow! That's what I forgot. Okay, let's get rid of this powder quick. Ooh, she's bright now. I love it. Take our brush and I'm going to use face on my face. This big color right here, face. I just pack on my brush and spray it. Bit softer than I'm used to, but it's fine. Get on my nose as well. All right, it's time for blush. So I'm gonna use the color Skip, which is this bright pink right here in the corner. Load up my brush like that. As a blush, this is actually really cute. I wonder what it looks like on the eye. I would have done it on my eye, but I feel like I do so many pink eye looks, not pink eye, so many pink eyes for you guys. You're probably sick of seeing me do it. Cause that's my usual go-to for drag face is just pink. But no, Nina would be so proud of me. I'm getting more and more unafraid of using bright color blushes. I still kind of feel like it makes me look like one of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, but if you see my content lately, you'll know that's something I'm not really straying away from anymore. All right, and I'll put some shimmer on my lips. So I'm gonna go with the color Sister, which is this baby pink shimmer right here. I am all done. I will be back with you guys shortly with a finished result. Welcome back. This is the final look. I know, I really stepped outside my comfort zone here, folks. <laughs> Okay, I have to say, as far as the James Charles palette goes, I'm actually really, really happy with it. For the price point, you get a lot 
of shades. And they're really, really pigmented, which means they're very, very drag friendly. Look at how many varieties you get here. So if you're a starting out drag queen, I'd say it's drag approved. This will work for you. Now there are, I counted 39 shades here. That is more shades than there are in Baskin Robbins flavors. So you have a lot to choose from here. And I would do a swatch video for all you folks, but honestly, if you guys want swatches, just take your ass to Alta and swatch it your damn self, okay? I don't have time for all that. And before you accuse me of trying to social climb, I have to say, I spent my hard earned boyfriend's money on this, okay? And if you need further proof, me and James Charles have to be best friends. <laughs> Splice in that picture of me from the finale. We met like once and he smiled in my pictures. So that means we're friends now. And now comes the time for shameless plugs. That's right. If you want to show support to this channel, the easiest way to do that is by like, commenting, and subscribing. Otherwise, you could support me monetarily either by buying my merchandise available on Teespring, which should pop up in this video or it should be listed down below, as well as my website. So I'll be having a Black Friday sale starting Thursday. That's right, Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. And if you want to come see me live, I will be in New York December 9th for the Holiday Dragtacular. Tickets available at Eventbrite. As well as if you can't make it to New York, I will also be in Chicago for Drag Matinee with T-Rex on December 1st. And if you live locally in Milwaukee, come and see me every fourth Friday at Hamburger Mary's. You know, depending if I'm in town or not. And I'm also at Dick's Milwaukee on select dates. So just check in. I'm around. You have no excuse not to come see me. And if you liked this video, why not make one of your very own by booking a personalized video through my Cameo account. I'll say just about anything you want within reason. And it was so much fun kikiing with you kittens today. If you want to kiki with me more, be sure and hit me up on my Instagram at James Mansfield. And if you like this video, be sure and hit the notification bell to be made aware of every time I upload a new video. And be sure and like the video. That way it gets recommended to more people. And more people hear about me so I can sell out a whole lot faster. Until next time, bye! Click here and see me try Miss Fame Beauty. Or see me tell you everything about Wigs 101. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll come to your house and critique the way you cook your turkey on Thanksgiving. Click it!